What's up guys, Matt from Capsule to Cone here and I've got another mixing tutorial for you today. We're gonna look at some drums that I recorded and mixed for my friend Chris Blake on his EP. I just finished that one up about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago, and this is a pretty fun song. It's a country tune. Uh, like I said, I recorded uh, these drums here. They're real drums and uh, we've got some overheads that we are going to be compressing in parallel today to add some width and add a little bit of ambience to the overheads that are not being processed like that. So um, let's go ahead and just listen to a little bit of the song. Here's the tune, it's called Doubles by Chris Blake. I can handle a few beers every now and then And I like my Coke with a little bit of gin hands me is easy to guzzle but I all right so like I said I recorded this song so the overheads are what we will look at first these are SE Electronics Voodoo VR1 ribbon microphones and that's what I used for the overhead mics they sound like this And what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and cutting out some of the low end, and then I'm also processing up here uh, about, I don't know, two and a half dB or so of um, 11K really wide and just trying to make those symbols not so sharp, not so bright sounding. And uh, I think it's working for us. So again, this is what the overheads sound like. That high pass filter is getting rid of some of the low end for us. Uh, really just using these like cymbal mics basically um, add maybe a little bit of brightness to the snare drum. These were compressed on the way in with a, probably a U, not a UBK, but an Empirical Labs Fatso. Uh, so that's the overheads. And what I did for this track, I just copied these two overhead tracks down to a new track that I made which is this stereo track, and then I processed a little bit differently. I wanted a little more low end in it, and so I brought the low end down, and uh, then I took out some 350, and then I also made that little scoop where the cymbals are kind of harsh uh, a little deeper. And so here is what those sound like with just slightly different EQ. And let me turn the automation off and turn that up for us. And then if we just blend that in with the overheads that we have here, it sounds like this. Which is just kind of making them louder. There's a little bit more there because of the bottom end, but what I want to do is I want to add some ambience and then the really cool effect that you get from processing overheads this way is that you also will end up getting you'll push the cymbals out just a little bit wider. So like that hi-hat is gonna sound like it's a little bit wider once it gets blended back in. So here we go. We're using the Alicia Impressor, or Impressor, Impressor, whatever it's called. And uh, we've got a really fast attack. We've got kind of a medium release. Threshold just set to smash. And it sounds like this. Really cool feature of this plugin is the GR limit. That's the gain reduction limiter. So once it hits a certain level, it just brick walls it right there and holds it together. And so that makes this thing really exciting. All right, and so what you're gonna end up hearing is I will uh, turn this on and kinda blend this guy in slowly so you can hear it. So 
So obviously you can get carried away if you want really loud sounding cymbals, you can do that, but you'll notice that it kind of pushes the hi-hat out just a little bit wider than what it was. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set this in the mix where it was, and we will listen to just the overheads and I'll turn the parallel overheads on. So they obviously get louder, but you can also hear when that gets turned on that the cymbals, the hi-hat gets pushed out just a little bit further, a little bit more width to it than what it had before. So let's go ahead and play the whole drum set again. And I'm gonna turn these on and off one more time for you. So there you go. And one more thing to note is that in some of these louder hi-hat sections right here, uh, where he's playing open, I did go ahead and automate this down because he's getting into the hi-hat a little bit more and it was kind of, uh, it was poking out some of those high-end frequencies. And so, you know, when you're doing this, you wanna just be aware of that because your cymbals can get a little carried away. And so you may need to go through a few spots and just do some automation like this to keep everything in check and make sure that it's not getting unruly on you. So. And what I can do is I can go ahead and turn that automation off. So there you have it. I really recommend that you try this. It works with other compressors. I've also had really good luck with the Eventide Omnipressor, that thing is really good. And I don't know, this this may be sort of a uh, sort of a clone of that since it's the impressor. I don't know that for certain, but I did think that when I was kind of going through here and test driving it today. So give it a spin. If you've got the uh, if you've got the plug-in alliance bundle, maybe check it out. Um, or if you've got the Eventide bundle, maybe check out the uh, the Omnipressor. But it's a really, really good sounding trick and can add some width and some ambience to your drums by just compressing those overheads in parallel and then blending them up. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.